Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video. Now this video is little bit again, little bit different and this video is gonna be all about my first impression when I tried to learn and uh, do a little bit of project work in the React Native. Now again, before we even begin with this tutorial, I would like to mention a clear cut fact here that this is not at all a tutorial for React Native, at least not this one. We may come up uh, with that later on. But right now it's not a tutorial, it's just a general opinion uh, what I think about the React Native as I was trying to get my hand dirty with this really awesome thing. So let's get started in here. Now, without wasting much more of your time, let me tell you what is my first impression. Now, before that, I have to talk about a little bit of the incident uh, that happened a little while ago. Now, I was the one of the very first early adopter of uh, the Parse, which is kind of an online uh, database service, which used to be there. Now, due to one of the project, I had to switch it up onto the Firebase. And uh, after that, I was I got completely stuck with the Firebase because I liked it so much. I also like the parse and I, I was kind of an early bird adopter of parse. I liked it so much. And I thought these two services are top notch quality. I, I think they should exist forever. And suddenly after that, Facebook came up and shut down the parse. Now, some people will disagree on that point because Facebook has moved this thing onto the GitHub. Now it's completely open source. You can uh, deploy your own AWS server and everything. But still, uh, the service is actually out of the market now. It's not as much good as now the Firebase is because the parse is going on. Now you might be thinking why I'm just talking about these things. Now this is super important because when we talk about the React Native, uh, the first thing that got to my mind is it's being backed up by the Facebook. And Facebook has a pretty dominant history about shutting down the things. And that is something I cannot get out of my mind. And that is something worrisome about this Facebook project. Okay. Now let's also talk about what is the learning curve and uh, what are my initial thoughts about the React Native. Now I was really free in these days. I, I was taking a couple of videography and all those classes. So I thought let's uh, go a little bit deep into technology as well. And I tried up React Native. Now the first impression is, hey, a lot of people are using it. It's so much easy, so much cool. Because in case you have no idea what the React Native is, it's kind of a framework or moreover a library framework-ish thing where you can write your HTML, CSS and JavaScript code and the same code will produce a code for iOS and for the Android. So your one code, which is basically a web-based language, HTML, CSS and JavaScript will produce the native application for iOS and Android. And that is something uh, cool and I would really like to see this as a growing feature because one language for everything, that's that's a futuristic approach for sure. And I liked it. And uh, it's not an hybrid app because most of the time hybrid app are just like a wrapper in a, in a browser and all of your applications are just running into it. So not, not a big fan of a hybrid app. I'm more over a native app guy, especially in the Swift and iOS environment here. So I like the approach, first of all, I digged into it. I liked it so much, so much awesome. So I started it to download the stuff, a couple of repositories and uh, NPM packages, modules and everything. Now my initial impression was, hey, there is a lot of things to do because to just build up a boilerplate code, there is so much of the things that you need to do. Of course, before you do so, you should be aware with, I would say JavaScript version six or rather technically correct, ECMAScript six, the latest version of the JavaScript. So you should be aware of it as well. Now, after you are aware of that, you should also be aware of something I would like to call this as the style of writing the code in the modern web application. Now there is no good name for that, but it's kind of a approach of writing the code uh, with the components and the directives, uh, which you might have already seen in some of the Angular application, Ionic applications, or maybe with the Node applications, you might have uh, seen this kind of uh, writing style of the codes where you divide the things into components and stuff. Uh, so you might have already been familiar with that if you are into the latest modern web application development as well. Now, I thought that it's really a good thing. I liked it, but definitely there is a lot of learning curve. Now, the great thing is that there are a lot of GitHub repositories which can give you a boilerplate code and you can just get started directly, no problem at all. 
But since if you are a learner or you're trying to explore more things about React Native, you would want, you surely would like to uh, just save all the files, write the boilerplate plate code by yourself. So definitely there's a lot of learning curve and it takes a lot of time. Now, at first, I definitely wanted to write and go ahead everything by my own with the documentation, little help and here and there and everything. But from now onwards, obviously, I would be looking for the boilerplate code on the GitHub and I'll be just using that onwards directly. So that is it. Now, my first initial kind of a look or you can say initial experience with the native, I liked it quite a lot. I would be definitely going more into deep. But there is still one thing that is bugging me off is whether this is going to be a stable branch and is going to be developed uh, in the future or not. That's it. That is the one thing that is still keeping me away from getting full fledged into it. Now, definitely, I know that when I'll be working with the Swift or maybe Android for Java, these technologies are not going anywhere. They are heavily platform dependent and they're always going to be there. It's not like Apple is going to be shutting down the Swift. If they have removed the objective C, they have introduced the Swift uh, early on and it's much more stable. It's going to be there. It should be there. But on the other side, uh, if someday I wake up and I see that, hey, we are not going to support React Native anymore. All of my apps that are on the Android or maybe on the iOS are nowhere. I have no other alternatives. I have no competition around so that I can switch on. When Parse got shut down, I had an alternative to move everything onto the Firebase. So that is something which was there. But for the React Native, there is no such thing. And there is no such viable, stable words, words from the Facebook saying that, hey, we are going to develop this branch and we are pretty much committed towards it. It's it's not there. It's uh, just still in the early phase. And that is the one thing that's still keeping me off. But again, uh, this doesn't mean uh, this is not a, a good technology. This is something which I was expecting for quite a long time. This should be there. One language for the web, one language for the Android and one language for the iOS. I think there can be nothing, uh, nothing better than this when you have a simple experience in HTML, CSS and JavaScript with a little bit styling of different style of writing code. You can produce apps as well. I think there is nothing better than this. But again, I would say so keeping it on to a summary, there is a learning curve quite a lot. I would say you should be familiar with the ECMAScript 6 as well. That is obviously going to be there. And uh, the new style of writing code, a modular, more modular code, like with the components and directives uh, that should be there. Apart from that, stability is a still an uh, issue in my mind. But again, uh, this doesn't mean I'm going to be stopping learning this technology. It's, it's pretty awesome. But for right now, I'm going to be staying with the native app development and I won't be switching uh, into the complete this React Native kind of app development. I, I would be staying with the Swift for now. But again, technology changes in every quite month. So I'll update you what I think about that when I'll be doing some more deep project with it. Uh, right now, it just I'm scratching the surface right now. So I'll catch you back when I'll get a bit more experience with this technology.